Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Reese Kitchen. Today we're making prosciutto wrapped beef with mushrooms. Now this is one of those wow factor dishes that really takes a lot of the hassle out of Christmas cooking and is perfect for any time, but especially in the festive seasons. There's not too many ingredients and it's actually quite quick to make. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So first up, I have a cut of beef. I have some Swiss brown mushrooms, some prosciutto, butter, garlic and salt, some rosemary, lemon and thyme, and some black pepper. So first up, let's talk about the beef. So the beef, the cut of beef that I have here today in Australia is called a Girello, um, and in Italian as well. As you can see, it's a very lean piece of beef. In the US, I believe it's called an eye round of beef. It's got no fat marbling. And that means it's not going to expand. It's going to hold its shape so that when I slice, I'm going to get beautiful, perfect rounds of this beef wrapped in the prosciutto and goodies. And so that's why I've chosen this. If you can't get it, what you want is the leanest, ask your butcher to, to trim down to the leanest piece of fillet that you can. You really don't want that to spread. The prosciutto is not strong enough to hold it and then you'll, you'll lose some of that wow factor. Still tastes good, but this is the best cut to use. So our first step is to set our herbs up for the seasoning of the beef. So I'm literally just gonna pop um, or de-leaf my rosemary and thyme. And I'm putting it on a flat tray because it makes it easier once we're ready to then roll our beef into it. So that's the end of my rosemary. And I've, as you can see, I've tried to make it pretty evenly dispersed over the tray. Uh, so that as we roll it, we get even um, flavours across the piece of beef. And now we're going to do the same with the thyme and just strip the leaves off the thyme. So now to do the same with some lovely sea salt and black pepper. So now to roll our piece of beef in our lovely herbs. bits left on the tray we'll just make sure get put onto the meat. Our next step is to prep our mushrooms so I'm just going to pop a medium gas on and melt our butter and you'll see that I have sliced the mushrooms up fairly thinly and also the garlic and we're just going to gently cook those down a little. Now mushrooms have softened and their thickened juices have come out, it's just beautiful. So I'm just going to turn that off the heat and just let it, them continue to cook just a little bit there in their juices and the butter. So now to prepare our prosciutto and this is probably the fiddliest bit. So with some kitchen string I want a piece that's at least twice as long as my piece of meat plus a little bit. And I'm going to lay that horizontally across my piece of paper here, which is just to help keep the bench clean. And then I want at least three, depending on your piece of meat, sometimes it's four. That again is at least twice as wide as your piece of meat, plus enough to tie a bow. And that's going to be my left hand side one and my right hand side one. Now it's always easier to put the string down before we start laying our prosciutto. So let's start talking about prosciutto. Um, my lovely deli person has cut these for me slightly thicker uh, than you would often get prosciutto. This is not to wrap around a melon, this is to wrap around the beef and go in the oven. If you have it the absolute paper thin, and you can see this piece is slightly paper thin on the side, that has a risk of a tearing and not holding in all the juices here but also uh, will burn and go to a crisp. And what we want is crackly, crisp prosciutto, but not black ash prosciutto. Now, because of where we were in her slice of her ham, you can see that this is actually quite a small piece. So depending on the lengths that you can buy, and of course, the width of your 
uh, piece of meat will determine how much you actually need for this. But what I'm going to do is I've guesstimated where my string needs to be. So if I put my piece of meat down, you can see I need that string just a little bit over, that one just a little bit over, a bit, you know, they're all a bit closer together. And that's going to cover across my piece of beef. So now, in a line with our three, I'm going to lay my prosciutto down. I'm going to want it to be on the edges, like hang over, so I can fold an envelope over. And I want them all to be uh, touching, so that they're on top of each other. So let's double check with my meat again. There's my three pieces of string. They're in about the right thirds. But I know that when I put my meat down and roll over, these aren't going to cover. So then I'm going to use the extras to help lay over the top. I might end up with a few extras today, but we'll just see. It's, it's better to have a couple of extra pieces of prosciutto than to be scanty and not enough. Gosh, this smells good with the garlic and the butter. So I'm just going to put just a, a squeeze of lemon juice in and that just that little bit of acidity just helps lift that. And we'll just spread this wonderful mushroomy, garlicky, buttery mix over our prosciutto. So now's the time to put our oven on. That's at 210 Celsius fan forced, but it's important that we heat our oven tray as well. So you need a nice deep tray that's going to hold your beef. And we'll pop that in. So while we're rolling, that's starting to heat up. Okay, so now I'm going to pop my piece of beef on my mushrooms. I'm going to make sure that if there's any uh, herbs on the end, on the tray left, that I'm just going to dip my ends in. Um, as I do to make sure the ends also have that nice bit of herb coating. And pop her down. And any leftover bits, I'm not going to waste those. Sprinkle them on as well. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of at the end, on both ends. I'm just going to roll that up. And now it's about pulling these over. And already, I can see that I'm not quite going to cover. So the next piece. Now there is no truly right way to do this. What we're trying to do is hold it all together. Now if you're lucky enough to have watched enough YouTube videos to do a butcher's knot, go for it. Mine are not going to be nearly that elegant, despite many years of trying. I always find that it's easier to do the horizontal one first. And so what we want to do is bring that up fairly tight. Just to hold that in place for a minute. I'm not going to trim any ends until I'm really sure that I'm done. Now for the middle. So I'm trying to make sure that none of my mushrooms are escaping. We want to keep all that flavour in. We're going to bring our piece of string up, up. Right over the left. Now you might find that you go, actually, I'm going to need another piece here. Don't make it too tight. The string will cut through your prosciutto. This is just to help hold the prosciutto on. Not so happy with my ends. They're looking a bit messy, but we will do another one in the middle.
Now, although these ends here are open and I can see down into the mushroom, I can't see down to the beef. So the prosciutto is doing exactly what I want it to do. It's covering that beef and it's helping to seal all of those juices in. Now, this is going to cook. Because it's got so very little fat in the actual piece of beef, it doesn't take long. 30 minutes will give you rare. 40 minutes will give you medium. Any longer than that is basically cremation. So let's stick it, I'm gonna pop this in the oven now for 30 minutes, because then when it rests, it'll continue to cook a little bit and we still want that lovely pink in the middle and the crispness of our prosciutto. So once my oven's reached temperature, this is ready to go in. So let's get our hot tray out of the oven. And very carefully, don't pick your meat up by the string because it's just gonna tear through your prosciutto. So very carefully, Great sizzle. All right, in the oven for half an hour. My kitchen just smells amazing. Let's have a look, shall we? Sorry, my Santa gloves are a bit big, but they're fitting for today. Ooh, la la la. Now, with all meat, of course, it's important to let this rest for at least five to ten minutes. So I'm going to pop it up on my carving board and just let it do that. As always, the hard bits in the waiting. And there's so many bits of crispy prosciutto that you just want to pick off. But I'll just have to wait. Now, all these lovely juices can be added back into your pan to make a fabulous gravy. And to check out how to make that gravy and all the details of today's recipe, don't forget to check out my blog at the link below. But as always, the best bits in the eating. Mm. The beef is so tender. The herbs just pop in your mouth and the butteriness of those mushrooms. And of course, the crispness of the prosciutto. This is an absolute crowd pleaser and I hope your family love it as much as mine. So for Miles and I, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Until next time, everybody, ciao.